need of some unique Senate knot patterns to incorporate into your macrame projects, then stay tuned to find out how we use colored cord to change up the look of the wave braid. here and welcome to Bochi Not Macme, the channel where you will find everything macrame related from DIY pattern tutorials to tips and tricks videos. My ultimate goal is to inspire you to create beautiful macrame so if you are interested in learning more macrame with me then click that subscribe button and then also give this video a big thumbs up. So this is a tutorial I am super excited to be sharing with you guys. We will be going over two different ways to make the wave braid using colored cords. So the knot making part of the tutorial is the same for both patterns. The only difference between the two is the use of different colored cords. One uses two colored cords and the other uses three. I will be walking you through how just by changing the position of certain colored cords can really change the design of the whole pattern. This braid pattern can be incorporated into almost any project as layers and wall hangings or plant hanger pose, even as keychains. Learning new knots and sentence is a great way to build up your macrame skill set, so I hope this tutorial will help you with that. We also offer a 50 knots and sentence ebook, so if you guys are interested in that, it's free for download over at bochinot.com. And we also have a great offer to those of you who are new subscribers for a two for one cord deal on our premium single strand cotton cord. If you guys are interested or you want further details, make sure you check out the links in the video description below or head on over to bochinot.com for more details. I hope you guys will learn something new from this tutorial and with that said, let's get started. The first wave braid pattern we're going to go over is the one with three colored cords. You will need three strands of cord at 150 centimeters long to practice this pattern. And of course, they all need to be three different colors. Take any two colored cords and attach them onto a dowel using lark's head knots. Then take the third color. We're going to make a large lark's head knot on top of these two cords. Take the loop end and place it top down underneath the dowel, directly underneath and on the outside of the two lark's head knots already on the dowel. Take the left cord and weave it through the loop on the left side and then take the right cord and weave it through the loop on the right side. Then before tightening the knot, take the middle four cords from the two lark's head knots in the middle, weave them underneath the middle loop and then now pull on the far left and far right cords to tighten. The lark's head knot should sit directly above the two smaller lark's head knots below. Now that the cords are mounted, we're going to separate the cords into three groups with the left three cords, the next two cords, and then the far right cord. Take the left group and we're going to make a loop over to the right side. Take the right cord underneath and then through the loop on the left. Then tighten up this weave. We're now going to do the same thing back over to the left side, taking the three cord group to the left, take the far left cord underneath and through the loop on the right. Now alternate again on the other side.
Now continue alternating this wave braid pattern below as many times as you want. Once you have made several, this is what the pattern should look like. Because of how I position the cords, because of how I position the color cords, you will see that the middle color, the one that goes zigzag, is one color, the middle two cords underneath is another color, and then the large wave pattern has two colors, one on the edge on the left, and then one on the right. The next wave braid pattern is made with two colored cords. You will need three strands of cord again, two in one color and the third in another. And you will need all three cords attached onto the dowel using Lars head knots. We're going to split the cords into three groups again, just like how we did the last one. And it is made exactly the same as how we had done the first one. I will show you guys how to make this knot one more time on both sides and then you can make as many as you want below to see how this will turn out. Once you're done, this is what the pattern should look like. You will see that the large wave pattern is one solid color, the orange color. And the zigzag pattern is one color as well, which is the amber color. And then the two cords underneath the zigzag has one of each. And that concludes our two wave braid patterns using colored cords. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and especially hope that you had learned something new from it, whether it's the actual knot itself, maybe you haven't seen the wave braid pattern before, or how to incorporate colored cords and change the positioning of them to change the overall look of the pattern. Whatever it may be, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of these patterns and also let me know where you plan on using these patterns into your actual macrame projects. If you guys do find yourself struggling with creating your own designs, we do go over this topic in way more detail over on our Boshina Macrame community on Patreon. We go over the skills and techniques and go through a process to help you guys get in the mindset of creating your own macrame designs. If you guys are interested in checking that out, then head on over to patreon.com slash for further details. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.